Hi everyone, welcome to the session on research methodology. Research in common parlance that is a manner of speaking refers to a search for knowledge. One can also define research as a scientific and systematic search for pertinent that means important information on specific topic. In fact, research is an art of scientific investigation. Research is an academic activity as such the term should be used in a technical sense, comprises defining and redefining problems, formulating hypotheses or suggested solutions, collecting, organizing and evaluating data, making deductions and reaching conclusions and at last carefully testing the conclusion to determine whether they fit the formulating hypothesis. An original contribution to the existing stock of knowledge making for its advancement, it is the pursuit of truth with the help of study, observation, comparison and experiment. In short, the search for knowledge through objective and systematic method of finding solution to a problem is research. The systematic approach concerning generalization and the formulation of a theory is also research, motivation in research. However, this is not an exhaustive list of factors motivating people to undertake research studies. Many more factors such as directives of government, employment conditions, curiosity about new things, desire to understand causal relationships, social thinking and awakening and the like may as well as motivate people to perform research operations. Now, coming to the different types of research are quantitative versus qualitative, conceptual versus empirical, significance of research, descriptive versus analytical, applied versus fundamental. Quantitative research is based on the measurement of quantity or amount. It is applicable to phenomenon that means happening or experience that can be expressed in terms of quantity. In qualitative research on the other hand is concerned with qualitative phenomenon that is phenomena relating to or involving quality or kind. For instance, when we are interested in investigating the reasons for human behavior that is why people think or do certain things. Next one, the conceptual versus empirical. In conceptual research, is that related to some abstract idea or theory? It is generally used by philosopher and thinker to develop new concepts or to reinterpret existing ones. On the other hand, in empirical, that is practical or experiment, research relies on experience or observation alone, often without due regard for system and theory. It is data based research coming up with conclusion which are capable of being verified by observations or experiment. Next, the significance of research. Research provides the basis for nearly all government policies in our economic system. For instance, government's budget rests in part on an analysis of the needs and desires of the people and on the availability of revenues to meet these needs. The cost of needs has to be equated to probable revenues and this is the field where research is most needed. Through research, we can devise alternative policies and can as well as examine the consequences of each of these alternatives. Descriptive versus analytical. Descriptive research includes surveys and fact-finding inquiries of different kinds. The method of research utilized in descriptive research or survey method of all kinds including comparative and correlation method. In analytical research, on the other hand, the researcher has to use facts or information already available and analyze these to make critical evaluation of the material. Applied versus fundamental. Research can either be applied that is an auction research or fundamental to basic or pure research. Applied research aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem facing a society or an industrial or business organizations whereas 
fundamental research is mainly concerned with generalization and with the formulation of a theory. Research method versus methodology. It seems appropriate at this juncture to explain the difference between research methods and research methodology. Research method may be understood as all those methods, techniques that are used for conduction of research. Research techniques refer to the behavior and instruments we use in performing research operation such as making observation, recording data, techniques of processing data used in selecting and constructing research technique. For instance, the difference between method and techniques of data collections, research and scientific method. For a clear perception of the term research, one should know the meaning of scientific method. The two terms, research and scientific methods, are closely related. Research, as we have already stated, can be termed as an inquiry into the nature of the reasons for and the consequences of any particular set of circumstances. Whether these circumstances are experimentally controlled or recorded just as they occur. Further, research implies the researcher is interested in more than particular results. For example, library and field. Library analysis of historical recording of notes, content analysis, tape and film listening and research records analysis. Analysis of documents, statistical compilations and manipulations, reference and abstract guides, content analysis. Field, non-participant direct observational behavioral scales, use of scorecards, etc. Research observation, participant observation, international recording, possible to use of tape recorder, photographic techniques, mass observation recording, mass behavior, interview using independent observer in public places, male questionnaire identifications of social and economic background of respondent, personal interview, interviewer uses a detailed schedule with open and closed questions. Focused interview interviewer focuses attention upon a given experience and its effects. Group interview, small groups of respondent are interviewed simultaneously. Telephone survey used as survey technique for information and for discerning, sensitive or sharp option may also be used as follow-up questionnaire, case study and life history cross-sectional collections of data for intensive analysis, longitudinal collection of data of intensive character. Scientific method. Scientific method is the pursuit, the research of truth as determined by logical consideration. The ideal of science is to achieve a systematic interrelations of facts scientific methods attempt to achieve this ideal by experimentations, observations, logical arguments from accepted postulates and a combination of these three in varying proportions. In scientific method, logic aids in formulating proposition explicitly and accurately so that their possible alternative become clear. Experimentation is done to test hypothesis and to discover new relationship if any, among variables, but the conclusion drawn on the basis of experimental data are generally criticized for either faulty assumptions, poorly designed experiments, badly executed experiments or faulty interpretations. As such, the researchers must pay all possible attention while developing the experimental design and must state only probable interferences. The purpose of survey investigations may also be to provide scientifically gathered information to work as basis for the researcher for their conclusions. These were the brief explanation about research methodology. Hope we will meet soon with some more categories in research. Thank you so much.